so uh, people can play around with this. So if I know PHP, then I'm, I'm going to be able to write. So give me a, a, an example of some of the subtle and not so subtle language differences. So it's, because you're now on, on managed, you have to be verifiable. You have to be type safe. Um, so what kind of enhancements did you make to the PHP language in order? So when I'm writing as a developer, so we have we have made no enhancements to the language. Our goal is that you take the code that you that you wrote for uh, the original PHP mm -hmm. and you compile it, and you don't have to edit a single line. It just works. Just configuration which wow. is stored in separate file and it works like uh, ASP.NET configuration that is a uh, paired directory configuration which can be changed at runtime without restarting server. All of that stuff with, which comes with ASP.NET is available for PHP also. So I've got a question for you. Popular PHP application is uh, PHP BB or yeah. Bolton, PHP Bolton Board. Have you tried taking some of these other projects and compiling them? Uh, not uh, the PHP BB, but uh, PHP MUC. There we you have go. already compiled. We may show it. Can you show it? Really? Oh, sure. Absolutely. Let's see this. <coughs> we will try to uh, compile as, as many uh, such projects as possible, but we have limited resources, so we would like to you to compile the, those things. Yeah, so this is PHP Nuke uh, running on top of Phalanger. Uh, it will be available in 14 days on our website. You will ha have an opportunity to <coughs> test it and view the source code. So when you took PHP Nuke to compile it, how much work was it to take PHP Nuke and recompile it? Did you, how much code tweaking did you have to do in order to get it to work with your yeah, there, uh, there was a problem in the PHP Nuke in the code because we want to compare it uh, with our managed extensions, which um, would, we would like to prove that uh, managed extensions are more powerful than uh, those which are wrapped and uh, which comes from PHP mm -hmm. to our compiler. So we have written ex an extension for M Microsoft SQL Server and uh, we want to uh, compare uh, PHP running on Apache server uh, uh, accessing Microsoft SQL and that was the problem because uh, <coughs> all the authors of PHP new claim that uh, it is no problem to do so there are some problems in SQL so we have to uh, correct some SQL queries but that was all it was some some lines have to be changed then it goes what do you use for a development environment notepad no no <laughs> no you don't use notepad what do you no. use visual studio all right why do you use visual studio because <laughs> I personally like like that uh, we have uh, Visual Studio on uh, on our college at under academic license, so it was available and nice. So we have you've been, you've played with Whitby a little bit, right? Yeah. Tell, what do you love? What do you like? What do you love about Whitby? <laughs> uh, <coughs> particularly in our project, we will uh, try to port it to .NET Framework 2 mm -hmm. because we really like generics. <laughs> so now what would what would generics look like in PHP if I were to start writing code in PHP.NET? I'm not calling it that, but what, what, what would it look like in Flanger, forgive me. So when I so when I'm a when I when I create a new project, a Visual Studio, one of your project mm -hmm. types, and I want to do a new Flanger project. And I want to write a class, and I want to implement generics. I want to write some generic code. What does it look like? Well, we, we are not. It doesn't exist in PHP. Yeah, we we currently we are not planning uh, on uh, bringing generics to PHP. Ah. Well, maybe in the future, <laughs> but but the generics will help us in in the runtime, in the language runtime. That is, there is a lot of collections that that should be 
PHP array is uh, main data structure in PHP is PHP array or object, and there are some hash tables inside it, inside our implementation, which uh, now using boxing because there is no specialization um, derived by the type, and it will be faster to implement those structures which are uh, used by PHP. It will be better to do with generics, but the PHP language will not be able to access it for now. Okay. It is. Uh, it will require a lot of modification in grammar, and we don't like to do so because we would like to have the s exactly same grammar as Zend has written it. Zend uh, has written his uh, language definition, and we would like to keep it at as it is. So the core benefit is that you're running on. You're running in, in the managed environment, so yeah. you're running on the managed heap, and you have a more secure environment, got type safe to verifiability, etc. Uh, all and the it code runs faster because it's yeah. compiled. Yeah, all the code which we produce, which uh, runs on the web server, uh, is verifiable. So administrators can can trust such code, and uh, there is some feature that we. Even if you want to use native extensions, and uh, if you don't trust offers of those native extensions, mm -hmm. you can isolate these extensions to separate process. So if does, uh, those extensions uh, crash, you, the, the main web server process remains running. So it will be more secure. And the uh, speed up is significant because we have, uh, we are building on a very good JIT compilation, so which is in .NET. Fantastic. Yeah. And, and another, uh, another advantage over the original PHP is that uh, it, is where it is really easy uh, to make it interoperable, or interoperability is, is easier with other languages. So now you can write your web application uh, partly in PHP and um, some some classes can be in C sharp, for example. In 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 PHP, when you want to extend the functionality, so you have to write it in C, and it's really ugly. It, it's it's really not. It, it's really hardcore, I would say. So that's a huge huge win. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, the the extensibility is quite uh, simple to achieve because you can create your own assembly written in c -sharp with standard typed fun functions or methods and uh, some met metadata, additional metadata you can uh, put a single line into configuration and the compiler will load it, reflect it and you can use it in PHP code. So the addition of some of your function if you want to access whatever is available on the .NET framework is about five minutes you have all the functionality you want to. So if I wrote a, a PHP application um, and at least this is what I think is pretty cool as you, as you were alluding to was I wrote a nice big application and I wanted to have some new features I simply create a new C sharp project for example write my code, and then I just import my PHP, my flanger libraries, forgive me, and bingo. Yeah. That's it, beautiful stuff. It can, it can, it can be down, done from C, C sharp to PHP. There are some limitations, of course, because uh, PHP doesn't support uh, all the types that are available on C sharp. So you, you, your code has to comply some simpler rules we are working to improve uh, convergence and mm -hmm. we are working on importing an arbitrary type of .NET to, C to PHP but it is not uh, not working yet maybe in future but uh, you can uh, conversely use PHP code from C sharp and, and also you can uh, use native extensions from C sharp so if you want to um, use, for example, P PDF generator, which is written in PHP extension, you may call it from C-sharp. So you may gen generate 
PDF. Now, if I call it from C sharp, um, it's going to be running. Do I call it an unsafe code block? So um, is it going to be running in the manage process? Uh, Maybe uh, an unmanaged extension will be running in the managed process. Yeah, you have you have two possibilities mm -hmm. with the unmanaged extensions. They can either run in the same app domain, which is which is unsafe. But you don't have to write unsafe because you are interacting with the extension through a managed wrapper. So you are not calling like the invokers, or nothing like that. You're you're uh, invoking managed functions that are generated, and this this native code can be loaded to the same uh, process as mm -hmm. your application is running, which is faster, but it's less uh, safe because that misbehaving extension can bring down the whole process, and you can run it in in an isolated process, and then the the communication is done uh, via remoting. It's it's slower, but it's safe. It's it's better for web servers. So that the web server so, must be running. Yeah. <laughs> so um, trying. To, we started a word here with so when I when we yeah. talk. It's kind of a thing that we've got here. Um, anything that you'd like to share with with, with the world out there? We're gonna put this out on the web and stuff. So <laughs> you can help us by testing the Phalanger. We will be very very uh, glad if we can receive your feedback. Mm -hmm because we would like to uh, we would like users to use it <laughs> it, so it will be super when we saw some icons powered by Phalanger <laughs>